um, just say your name and what your background is and then tell me a little bit. Yeah. What do you mean? Your background in horses. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so like what? I'm Leslie Alderson, mm-hmm. born and raised in Texas. I, my first time I was on a horse, probably five years old, more like a pony. Um, and that's basically where it started, probably at that age. And then, let's see, I would ride my friend's horses because my parents couldn't afford a horse. Um, and then when I joined the Marine Corps, I'd work at barns and clean stalls just so I could ride. And then when I got out of the Marine Corps, um, it's when I met my husband. And then I finally got him suckered into horses and we haven't <laughs> turned back since. Mm-hmm. Um, so we've moved around a lot with the military coast to coast and then we retired out here in Idaho and we brought our horses out here. Um, and then, let's see. I have spent 10 years as a certified trainer with uh, Chris Irwin, who's up in Canada, and that's just working groundwork with horses mm-hmm. and building trust and a relationship with them. And, and that's how I ended up, you know, getting the horses I have because Pistol, for an example, is, you know, essentially a rescue horse who has been, in my mind, misunderstood. Mm-hmm. And getting her to where she's building confidence and coming out here and doing something that I've always wanted to try and do. And uh, we'll see what she gives me. What uh, what first got you interested in mounted shooting? Um, it was probably I had a gentleman come out and look at a quarter horse that I had, and uh, he was actually a top competitor over in the East Coast in South Carolina. Mm-hmm. I forget his name, but he came out to test out my quarter horse for mounted shooting, mm-hmm. and she just she didn't care. Now she just lacked the speed mm-hmm. and the willing to move forward. So. But you could shoot off her and do anything, and that's literally my um, my door opening of like, wow, I had no idea that there's we can go and shoot pistols off a of horseback. Yes. So finally getting out here, I'm like, we came to the mounted shooting competitions in Coeur d'Alene and watched y'all over the years, and I'm like, I could do that, I could do that, right? Mm-hmm. And then came out here and trained with y'all. Um. Tell us, okay, so tell us about about your horse, um, the story, how you got her, and kind of what you're hoping to what you're hoping to get out of it. Uh, pistol, uh, pistol dash, named by my son. She came from Lewiston Auction. Uh, a lady, Marion, up north from where I live, picked her up and posted her for sale. And she's gray, and we typically typically like grays, so. <laughs> We fell in love with her and she was really quiet and she moved nice um, and uh, working through the beginning of this spring with her, she is just has blossomed and she's become more trusting because um, she didn't, she didn't want to be by you like a person at all, um, which I don't blame her. But, um, but now coming out here and being like, okay, she has been around you know, pistol fire, and she's been fine. So now we're gonna try to take her to the next step and see what she does. She doesn't seem too bothered at all. No, I mean, she's not even eyeballing. Really. No, that's great. I like it. Very quiet. Oh yeah, look at that. So with a new horse, you want to shoot here or behind you? She's not ready to have you shoot up by her face yet. She's a long way from there. So this is good practice, a good habit to get into because sometimes we get really excited and we, when we're training a young horse and we want to get them going and we end up sh- accidentally shooting by their face. Good. Good, nice, good. Your arm is really nice and straight. You're not flopping all over the place, which is great. Good. Yep. It is. 